Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Casey Holmes collab with Smashbox, the Spotlight palette in pearl and gold. I love Casey so much. I've been watching her for so long. She's like one of my biggest inspirations on YouTube and I posted a photo of these on Instagram and she liked my photo. Like, oh my god, I, I died. I was like fangirling so hard. I can't believe she liked my photo. It was just... Anyway, so she came out with two highlighting palettes with Smashbox. Look at these two beauties here. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm going to give you guys product info as always. I'm going to be showing you guys swatches and I'm also going to be giving you guys my review. The way this video is filmed is going to be very similar to how I filmed my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit video. So it's not a first impression. I have tried all the shades at least once. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. Each palette comes with three highlighters. This one is the gold that I'm showing you. It comes with a very nice mirror and it's just very small, compact, perfect for traveling. Each palette is $35 US. I got mine off the Smashbox website and I got that delivered to my US address and then I got that shipped to me. I use U-Shop just in case any of you guys live in New Zealand are curious. So both of the boxes look exactly the same, just has her name on it. It's very sleek. I feel like this is very her. Like to me when I see this, I'm like, yeah, this is Casey. Has her little photo on it, just her little blurb. And then in the box, you get like a little pamphlet on just where you can place the highlighter if you're just a beginner. It's really nice to have that just in case like people who are buying this are beginners. They don't know how to play with highlighter. That's a really good thing to have. So before this, I've actually never tried any of Smashbox's highlighters. I've only tried their primers and their eyeshadows. I've never tried anything else. I don't own any highlighters like this. It's so, so beautiful. So the colors that you get, it is called Turn It On Pearl, Crank It Up Pearl, and Blow A Fuse. It's the same names, it's just in gold instead. But Blow A Fuse is definitely more glittery and she said in her video that this is more like a highlight topper. I really do appreciate having that in there just in case you want to enhance your highlighter a little bit more, give it a little bit more glow. But these two are very like, I don't know how to describe it. It's very metallic but powdery, but not powdery in a bad way. It just looks so smooth on the skin. It looks like you're glowing from within. It just makes you look so healthy. I have Crank It Up Gold on my cheeks and I put a little bit of blow a fuse just like on the high really high point of my face oh my god guys this is like literally so amazing it looks like I'm glowing from within like just a natural glow it looks so smooth it doesn't emphasize any texture although I don't have too much texture on my cheeks it's pigmented it blends out so nicely this is buildable like you can definitely use this in an everyday highlight or you can build it up to be a blinding highlight and I love that function of it I love that you have that choice and having that extra um, highlight topper it just makes it even better. I don't know, just something about these highlighters. They're so, so good. I was really shocked with this formula. It's so different from what I've used. I mean, the Anastasia one, Becca's one, they're all very glittery and they're all very like high shine. But just the way the highlighter picks up light, it just looks so amazing. So do I think these are worth it? Hell yeah, I do. These are amazing. I recommend both, but if you really want to just get one, I would say get the pearl. They're both really good. The formula is consistent. Consistent, no inconsistency going on over here. These are amazing. Now that you guys got my opinion on it, let's go and talk about shade by shade. First up is the Pearl palette. You get three beautiful shades here. Looking into this palette, I was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna like this one as much, but I was wrong. First you have Turn It On. Looking in the pan, it looks like a vanilla bean highlighter. On me, it looks like a silvery white and it looks very, very smooth on the skin. It's very blinding as well. And then you move on to Crank It Up Pearl. It looks a bit darker, but honestly, it is a like the tiniest difference on me. And then we have Blow A Fuse. Like I said, a lot more glittery than the rest. I like how this does complement the rest, well, which it should, but you know, it does complement the other two highlighters. It looks beautiful on top of them alone as well. What I love about Blow A Fuse is that you can put it over your body and it gives you such a luminous glow. Like I just imagine if you were going to take like an outfit of the day and you had your legs showing, put this on your legs, like on the high points of your legs. That will look really, really good. It just has that natural summer glow to it. Now we move on to the gold kit. I know in America you guys are going on to summer soon. Maybe you should get the palette instead because this is like the ultimate golden glow that you want. Like if you want to be bronzy and glowy, then you need to get 
get this palette. So the first shade we have in here is called Turn It On Gold. On me, it's like a light gold, but on the skin, it does look very true to a gold. And it just gives you that nice, natural summer glow that every girl wants in the summertime, even in the winter time. I'll still be rocking it. This one on me probably wasn't as blinding as Turn It On Pearl, which is completely fine, but I'm just stating that. Next, we have Crank It Up Gold, which is what I'm wearing as my base for today. This one is more like a coppery golden but it's still very gold and it's just like a little bit deeper. And the last highlighter we have is called Blower Fuse. Again, I have this on the high points of my cheeks and it's just amazing. This will look again awesome all over the body. Perfect summer glow. This is like the summer highlighter palette. You know what I mean? On the pan and everything, it looks very standard. It looks very simple but on the skin, the formula, everything, it just it changes it for me. So that's all the shades shade by shade. I honestly can't say anything bad about it if I were to like really pick one thing. I would say that the shades are pretty similar next to each other. Like the first two are very similar similar on me. Maybe one's just a little bit darker, one's a little bit lighter. Definitely we're gonna try more of Smashbox highlighters because these are freaking bomb. But yeah, that would be everything for today. I hope you guys did enjoy my review and also my swatches. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know if you guys have tried this out or not. What do you guys think of the formula? For me, it's very different. It was very eye-opening to me. So let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about these? And also subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.